All right. Hi, everyone. Jen here. In this short training, I want to share with you something that I've blogged about recently and I've also shared as a Facebook post. And it's about the philosophy and the practice of tracking your calls and tracking your leads and doing so in a way that removes or reduces your attachment to a sale. And what I mean by that is when you're able to take a thousand foot view and look at everyone in your pipeline from leads who've just been connected to and who have shown some kind of interest in, in your offer or in your content to leads that are really ready to sign up and, and pay and, and commit to your program. When you're able to look at your whole pipeline and see the volume of your pipeline, it can reduce any kind of sense of attachment or disappointment to any one of those leads declining your offer or disappearing once they've said yes or any of these things. Now, if you're doing any kind of sales training, there's really great sales training on, on closing, like how to close a deal on the call, take full payment, how to move someone from a point of, mm, I need to think about it or let me go away and consult other stakeholders or give me a few months before we have this other piece of work finishing. There's there's definitely sales techniques about how to get to the bottom of someone's objection, how to persuade them that delaying is not in their favor, that they can commit now and that they can commit fully and willingly and, and just sign up and pay. Definitely invest in proper sales training to understand how to close properly, how to get full payment on the call and move people into your program. What I want to show you is more the bigger picture of that pipeline management and how if you're not currently using a CRM or database, just a simple tracking tool can help you map that, map those conversations where they're up to in your pipeline. And it can help you with a lot more calmness, a lot less attachment to any of those deals closing or not closing into your pipeline. So I'm just going to share my screen with you and show you a simple tool that I've come up with. I'll actually share, share with you two tools. One is an Excel spreadsheet and one is a Trello board. Just again, a caveat, if you're using a HubSpot CRM, Pipe Drive, or any of these other CRMs, your CRM will have this feature in front functionality for you. So by all means, be using that. And this is really just a, a tutorial or training for people who are not really just tracking their calls or tracking their leads effectively and how you can start doing that. So the first one I want to share with you is this call booking tracker. So you can see I've got multiple tabs down the bottom. I think I've got about eight different tabs along the bottom here. And it's basically the continuum of a conversation from someone showing that they're interested right up to where they can the deal is closed. So this is the tab of call completed. Here I've got obviously when we connected their name, I've blotted that out just for privacy reasons how I've reached the person. So if they come through LinkedIn or cold email, did they come just entirely inbound and they reached out to me without me prospecting for them? When was our first call? Because this is call completed. And do we have a second call set up? Because there was no sale on the first call. And then some notes about them, what they're interested in and maybe why they didn't actually need to, they didn't sign up straight away. And then what I've got is an approximated close date. So when they said they want their next call or when they felt that they were ready to sign up, the value of what they're interested in, whether it's coaching or a retainer. Now, what I like to do at the top here is create a formula. So you can see my formula is just calculating the full value of this pipeline. And that's this is what I'm talking about by this thousand foot view and this encouragement of what are the deals in your pipeline? Because if any of these conversations comes back to me and says, listen, no, you know, I've gone with someone else or I've decided you're not for me, I can remove them from this pipeline, but I'm not devastated by that conversation ending because I can see that my pipeline is actually a good 70 grand deep with conversations of, of people at varying stages of their dis decision making. So I've added a column for what they're interested in. And what I've created for myself is a seven step follow up framework. And this helps me just see how patient I need to be with some of these leads. So I've had a call, maybe I'm going to follow up with an email after the call, 
then a LinkedIn message probably a few days later. And then I've got room for up to seven touch points and follow-ups after the, that initial conversation to try and bring them back to a second call, a third call, and, and to a close. So, again, this helps me just calm down, see this as a, as a nurture game, see these as relationships I can cultivate. I found that early in my evolution as a business owner is if somebody seems like they're pulling out, even before they say, listen, I'm not interested, I would get quite tense about it because I had a lot of expectation on that deal closing. I was almost calculating my monthly revenue already. And if they don't close, then I'm in big trouble. So I would preempt it and reach out to them and say, listen, it looks like you're not interested. I haven't heard from you. And a message like that could actually destroy the relationship. And, it, and I found that I would kind of be pushing people away with those kinds of messages. So slowing myself down and giving myself time to just, you know, see that I'm not necessarily going to know what's going on for them or why they haven't closed or the real story behind why they're busy right now, but that I could just slow down and nurture that relationship slowly over time. If they are the right client, that they will come back and they will sign up. So let's just look at other tabs that I've got down the bottom. I think from the left, I start, if they say not now, you know, listen, I'm kind of interested, but you know, maybe in six months time. So then I just can log that there. And I've, again, I've got my seven steps of follow up. This is if people are interested in some kind of free free content. So they've opted in for my free training. And then again, I can follow them up and see if down the track, they're interested in a call here. People have said yes to a call, but they haven't booked a call yet. So again, I'm trying to follow them up and say, well, well you, you were interested in call at how's your schedule this week, that kind of thing. I always list people who didn't show up for the call. Now, these are, can be good, can be bad leads because if they've, they've already booked, but they didn't show up, it shows that something spooked them. Maybe they're not that qualified. Maybe um, it wasn't that important to them. And so it's worth following them up definitely and bringing them back to a call. But I would send two or three follow-ups and then just leave them at that point. Now we come back to call booked, but no sale. And after that, if someone is not qualified, so we completed the call, but it's clear that they're really not my ideal client. Maybe they're just starting. They just don't have the revenue. They're from a third world country or they, it's really just not a good time for them for other reasons. So they, either I disqualify them or they disqualified themselves. I just add them to this tab and I don't count that as a lost deal. It's just a non-qualified prospect. Then I have a tab for sales close. Again, I just keep this just as an encouragement just to see my pipeline. Obviously, these are, are not a reflection of real numbers, but you can just see, you know, how you can calculate, you know, how, how, many, how much revenue you've created over the last few months. And then I have also a tab for the sale that's lost or declined. And in this case, I do calculate those who are genuinely a good fit, but for somehow they did, they declined me or I lost the deal. So that could be for any number of reasons. I usually try and note down the reason. Sometimes they just disappear and I never know why. Usually then that's a trust thing. I didn't quite persuade them that, that this was a good investment. Sometimes they come up with some kind of weak reason, like I just don't really have the income. In this case, I don't believe their reason. I think they probably just didn't trust in me enough to, to find the money. Sometimes they decide to go with someone else, which is entirely fine. Some people will actually feel like they've kind of got enough business at the moment. It's not as an urgent need as they want, or they have just refused to my terms. So they want to pay with a 30 day payment thing. And I'm just say, sorry, I need, I need at least partial payment in advance. And then they back out and that we've lost the deal. So, so there's different reasons why people might, you might lose the, the sale. Obviously you want to get these numbers down and get your sales closed high, as high as possible. But I think you can see how now you've got just this full like pipeline view of how you can track all of these different conversations. And of course, this, these lists will just grow and grow and grow. And you want to be able to follow up all of these conversations as much as you can. Now, the second tool I want to show you is a tool called Trello. I think a lot of people are familiar with Trello. This is a free tool. So it's just trello.com. You can sign up for a free tool. And it's a very similar tool in principle in that you can create columns, but you can see them all at once. So I've created eight columns that reflect my spreadsheet here, you know, from not now maybe later yes to free resource yes to call but no call booked they didn't show up to the call call completed but no sale 
right up to sale closed or sale lost. And the beauty of Trello is each of these boards, you just kind of add a card and you can enter in the details of that card. But here, if you, we pop this out, you can label it and color code it. So I've just color coded this from, the, you know, the source is from LinkedIn. I could add some description about this deal, their business, even their contact details, their email address, their LinkedIn profile, things like that. I could tag a member of my team. So if one of my team members booked that call, then I can tag who was the original owner. What's great also is you can add a date. So you can send yourself a, a reminder date for the follow-up and then keep tabs on that person. You know, it'll just give you a little alert and send you an email that it's time to follow up this lead. So there's lots of benefits of using Trello. The reason I'm not using Trello more is like the tally at the top of the spreadsheet I think is is really great for me I like to see the my pipeline at a glance and unfortunately Trello you can see the individual deal size but I can't see a tally of how many is is in this stage fully so again if we look at Jane Doe let's open that up so you can see I've tagged my teammate and yellow means email so you can see that I've got a yellow code I've tagged my teammate. I could add a due date for like following up this deal. And I could add lots of information here about the conversation we had and the questions that they asked or their phone number and email. So for ease of follow up. So I think you can see how easy Trello is. And obviously, if they've said not now, maybe later, but then later they become yes to call booked. We can just move them between the deal stage. Or maybe this John Doe becomes a call completed, but no sale. And then maybe we actually complete the sale and I can say that that deal is closed and I've won that deal. And then I can, if I'm going to give, you know, any kind of commission or sale bonus to this teammate because they booked me a call that led to a closed deal, then I can do that there. So Trello is a brilliant kind of tool for all of that. And you can see how that would quickly grow grow and multiple people could be using this if you've got different people doing linkedin different people doing email different people you know booking leads from different sources you could be all be using this in a collaborative manner so that basically comes to the end of the training just to summarize obviously if you're using a, a proper crm you know a hubspot a pipe drive use your crm that's what they're designed for, to do and they should have that Kanban style view of moving people from different stages in the pipeline. If you're not using any kind of tracker, just comment below or message me. I'm very happy to share with you the basic Excel spreadsheet that I've created. You can use it for yourself. Just jump onto Trello or jump into Google Sheets and set up your own. I really recommend that you start tracking everything that you're doing, particularly the volume of your deal pipeline. And it's just really encouraging to see the money in your pipeline, where you can plumb the, the leads. Don't forget any of those leads. Make sure you're going, circling back to even those that said no, even those that didn't turn up to a call, even those that opted in for some free resource. You can advance those leads down your pipeline to the point of sale. And then, of course, be working on your sales skills as well so that you can close someone on the call, take full payment. You're not having to chase and follow up leads after a call. That's a really top skill to have. But this tool, can just help you understand at a really big view all the conversations you've got how to advance them how to delegate them to different team members and it can also just reduce your attachment to any one of those deals declining or saying no and and releasing you from any sense of expectation of this this one deal has to close or I'm in trouble and that you know that you've just got a dozen other conversations you can pursue and at any point be moving them all down your pipeline. So I hope this was helpful to you. Please like or comment below some of the things that you've learned. Let me know if you want to use my tracker or my tool. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. Bye.